YouTube channel. I really wanted to film a really fun look this week, so I asked you guys on Twitter what you wanted to see, and almost all of you guys said do a challenge video, and I was so down. I've been doing a lot of tutorials, so I thought it was finally time for me to challenge myself and do a challenge video. That was a lot of challenges in one sentence. <laughs> Since I just got myself a new pair of very, very, very pointy stilettos, I thought it'd be a perfect day to put my Morphe brushes into retirement for a little while and do the no brushes makeup challenge. I decided to do this pinky rose cut crease with the glitter liner, and honestly, I'm very, very proud of how it turned out. It was not easy, but I love the finished look. So if you want to see how I created this using not a single makeup brush, make sure to keep on watching. I'm going to start out, as always, priming my face using my Benefit Professional Primer. This is definitely the easiest step of this tutorial, considering I always prime it using my hands anyway. Um, it's just the way I like to do it. Um, this is about to go downhill real fast, so brace yourselves. For foundation today, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, but I guess since putting it on this way would kind of be like cheating, I'm going to rub it into my fingers and then put it on that way. Oh, wow. And now I guess we're going to start to blend this in with my fingers. Okay, okay, this could be a lot worse. This is not as bad as I was thinking yet. Knock on wood, because we all know that's going to change in about 15 seconds. For concealer today, I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Very Fair, and I'm just going to tap this in under my eyes and all around the face using my finger once again. While this is the first challenge I'm doing on my channel, this is not the first challenge I've actually done. I have been trying a lot of the other challenges that have been floating around YouTube just in my own time. They have been very, very fun, but this one is alarmingly dangerous with the set of nails that I just acquired today. I'm going to quickly set under my eyes using my Cody Aerosol Powder in the shade Translucent. And once that's packed under the eyes just to prevent creasing, I'm going to take more of that on my entire hand and literally beat my face. To contour my face today, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Acelai Bronzer. Oh, holy crap. I'm feeling extremely patchy right now and it's Oh, getting on my last nerves, but there's nothing I can really do to fix it, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and bake my face using my fingers once again in my Cody Ears Bone Powder. I'm going to go ahead and let this bake for a few minutes. Fingers crossed that this contour gets a little bit cleaner because right now this looks awful. So I will be right back in a second and we can go on with the rest of the face. All right, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so we can get started on the eyes. To do this brow, I'm going to start off by dipping my nail into Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. This is where having long nails really is coming in handy. And then to tidy up the brow a little bit, I'm going to take some Born This Way once again on the tip of my fingernail and just go under the brow. Oh, no, 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 no. Brow, I need you to stay right there. Don't move. Once I have that relatively clean, I'm just going to take the remainder of the concealer on my finger and blend that in as well as cover my eyelid. For my eyelids today, I decided to do a cut crease. I know I just did one recently on my channel, but I wanted to do a little bit of a simpler one for you guys at home, and I know a cut crease will be super, super hard to do with just my fingers, so I wanted to challenge myself. I'm going to start off by drawing the bottom line of the crease using my fingernail and Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek. And then I'm taking a tiny bit of Morphe Brick Shadow and on my pinky I'm going to start to blend in that line. Okay, I guess that's as good as we're going to get, so I'm going to go back in now with Cherry Cola once again on the tip of my fingernail and define that crease line a little bit more. This is definitely a challenge to say the least and not as easy as I was expecting. Getting the like product in the place that I want it to is extremely easy having nails this pointy, but actually blending out the product is extremely hard because I don't really have access to my fingertips because um, the nail is in the way. <laughs> and then to finish off the cut crease, I'm just going to define it a little bit more using Anastasia Beauty Mark. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to mix together the pink and the white shade from the Ofra Beverly Hills Highlighter. Now normally I would go in with some concealer underneath this crease just to really really cut it and make it super sharp, but today I'm going to be doing some glitter liner underneath the crease, and that is going to be kind of my cut so I don't even need to worry about it. For the glitter liner, I'm going to dip my nail into my Mayron Mixing Medium and just draw a thin line right under the cut crease. And then dipping right into Eye Candy Glitter in Double Bubble, I'm going to press that glitter right into the adhesive. 
Uh, well, I guess now we're going to try to do a wing. I'm immediately regretting this and I haven't even started yet, but I'm going to dip my fingertip into Morphe Gel Liner in the shade Slate and <sighs> pray. Holy crap, I can't believe I actually just did that. Wow. Okay, not the best wing liner, but definitely not the worst. For my lower lash line, I'm going to use Makeup Geek Bitten and just go in with my pinky and smudge that into the lash line. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so apparently that didn't work too well, so instead I'm going to go in with Bitten on the tip of my nail and buff that into my lower lash line. I felt like the lower lash line was missing something, so I just dip my finger back into the Mayron Mixing Medium and into Double Bubble and just pop it a little bit on the inner corner. For mascara today, I'm going to be using my usual Benefit Roller Lash, but since I can't really use the spoolie type brush, I'm going to put some on my finger and then try to apply it that way and pray that I don't get it all over my eye. Hey, this is actually kind of working. Yes. To finish off the eye look, I'm going to pop on the Violet Voss Lashes in the style Eye De Ho. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera now. I promise I'm still going to be doing the challenge though. This is much more fun than I anticipated. It's currently 2 a.m. but I have to wake up for school in like four hours. Lovely. So I really need to focus and get this done. I'll be right back and then we can go ahead and finish the face and the rest of the look. Okay, there we go. I finished the second eye literally 45 minutes later, but you know what? They look good. I'm happy with it. Let's move on. To highlight my face today, I'm going to be mixing together the pink and white shades again from the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. It's one of my face and you can use code JCharles for 30% off. Okay, that actually looks not bad at all. And lastly, to finish off this look, I'm going to very, very, very carefully apply Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sad Girl. And there we go, guys. That completes this No Brushes Makeup Challenge. <sighs> Thank you. All in all, I'm really not too happy with my skin. I don't think I'll be putting on my foundation with my fingers anytime again soon. But honestly, the eyebrows, eyes, lips, and highlighter all really did not look that bad. I'm pretty proud of myself for what I was able to achieve. There are definitely some experts out there who did much better than me <coughs> and Nikki tutorials. But I'm very proud of myself for succeeding and definitely trying to challenge myself. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos every single week and I'd be so happy for you to join the family. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, my Instagram and Twitter are both jcharlesbeauty. It's a wonderful time, and if you'd like the more private life, my Snapchat is jamescharles with an extra S after Charles. Alright guys, I think that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!